Spanish vlog with your host Pablo Gunner and I know it's been a long time since I did one of these and there's a good reason for that. For one, I don't have time to edit vi these videos uh, and I don't have time to edit any videos primarily because of work um, but also personal life, you know, just life finds a way. You know, usually I talk about nerdy stuff and fitness stuff. You know, I'll talk about what workouts I've been doing, what food I've been eating, whether it's good, bad, whatever. Uh, you know, the nerdy stuff I've been getting into, you know, even other stuff, music, whatever. So I'll go ahead and do that and go a little deeper because there's what I've done and there's what's going forward. You know, and also why there's been a break. So... I mean, I already pretty much explained why there's been a break, but I was, I had been doing this thing where I was running on my Monday and my Friday of my regular work week. And I'd run, I'd run with my work, workout buddy at work. We would run on the treadmill and we would do around four to five miles. And so it worked out perfectly because I eat bad on the, on my week, on my weekends. I'll be honest. They're pretty much my cheat days. Now, I don't go crazy and just eat completely horrible bad food. It's like good bad food. Like, I'll go to Matucci's. I'll go to restaurants that are good, that have good food, but it's bad food. Like, it's bad for you, you know? So, but it's but it's better quality stuff. I'm not eating, like, Oreos and Fritos and crap and Taco Bell and stuff like that, usually. It works out great because then I, I lose a lot of calories from the bad food that I eat. And then on my Fridays, I lose... I, you know, lose weight and calories from all the food, bad food that I'm going to have. So it's, it's, it works out really well. And then in between I'll do different stuff. Now I was trying to go for, I saw Justice League and I was like, I want to go for the Aquaman bod, but not the exact Aquaman bod because I know that's not really attainable. And I also want to go with a more realistic Aquaman bod, which is okay. Well, real Aquaman, he's got to swim a lot, right? So I'm gonna swim and I'm gonna do different kind of swimming um, styles. So, but I'm not that great of a swimmer. I only know like a few styles, but I was like, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a membership to Define Fitness. And I went a couple days and it was good. You know, I tried to do like a lap per minute. Now for me, for a, uh, for me, a lap is from one end, that would be one lap. And then back, that's this two lap, which is probably wrong. So, for actual laps, but but it's just, you know, that's what I was doing at first. Uh, so, I, I was trying to do essentially, like I said, a lap per minute and just go for like 30 minutes. I think I did like 26 laps the first time. Uh, well, the first time I just, I just did a few because I was pressed for time, but then uh, the second time I did like 26 and 30 minutes or something like that. But like I said, that was just one, that's one lap. So anyways... Uh, and I could tell, I could see the difference right away. Like I was getting cut really, really well. And, uh, but you know, once again, I was really hungry. I was getting, I felt like I was back in the Navy again. I was like my sea legs, I got my sea legs back. I couldn't even walk. But then I got the news that I was going to be able to try out for like this elite squad they have at work. It's, it's their, they have their own, uh, sw you know, like their own SWAT team, right? And so I've kind of been trying to get into this thing for a while and I haven't had luck. Like I passed everything the first time, but they were only taking so many people and it was according to rankings of like class score and uh, my class score wasn't that great because I'm not that great of a shooter, period. Uh, so, and, and it had a lot to do with that. But anyways, ex excuses aside, the, all the other times that I got to try out, uh, I think two, two times, I, there was, well, I think the, the only other time I, I shot like crap on the last part. They had this obstacle course, and then you shoot the pistol, and I shot like crap on that. And uh, I did better on everything else, uh, except for except for that. Um, and so it's, and then they, so they gave me the news, and I only had two weeks to prep for this, so I was like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna completely change my workout schedule. I mean, my workout routine, and I'm gonna change out my, and just my schedule period. So every day before I go to work, I'm gonna go shoot. So I went to Calibers, or I would go with my hermano, and we'd go out to the Mesa, and we would shoot. Uh, mostly it was me going to Calibers, though. I got a membership, and I rented one of their, uh, one of their Glocks, and I shot theirs. 
Um, but I did mostly close distance, and for the thing, it was it was farther distances. But anyways, so that's what I did. And then for after, when I got off work, I would do workouts that were towards my goals, which was you have to do a mile, um, you know, like under eight and a half minutes. You have to do, you know, so many push-ups, so many sit-ups. And then, like I said, the obstacle course. So the obstacle course, you got to like jump over this wall, you know. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to do pull downs, you know, with the machine. So I would do that. I do, you know, like four sets of 10, you know, or I would just like, you know, I would try to do that as much as I can. And then they had like these, these cable bars and I would pull that bot because you have to do these sled pull. You have to do a sled pull. So I did that and I was like, okay, the sled is, I thought, yeah, the sled is like 180 pounds. And I think around the time I was, I weighed about like 130, 140. So a solid amount more than me. So I made my workout specific towards that. Now, um, so yeah, and like I said, uh, we did things different this time around. We shot first, and like I said, I really am not that good uh, at shooting pistols. So unfortunately, I did not pass the the uh, handgun shooting portion. But you know, um, I'm just gonna keep on practicing. Like I said, I have a membership. Uh, the wife actually got me the gun for Christmas. So I'm going to keep on practicing. So next time they have it, hopefully I'll pass it because that's what I need to work on. And it was great because my runtime was the best runtime I ever had for my mile. And I think a big part of it had to do with me running with this, with this guy doing, cause we would, I try to run half a mile as fast as I can. Then I would try to run a, a mile as fast as I can. Then a mile and a half as fast as I could. And then after that, then we would do sprints. We would sprint a minute as fast as we could and then rest a minute. And we did that, like I said, until we got to like around four or five miles. So that's what I was doing before that. And then for this, uh, I would also, I do pull downs. Like I said, I would also wear, I, cause we were a lot of gear and you know, full, full, you know, gear and stuff. So I'd be okay. My buddy, he gave me his weight vest, uh, and so it's 50 pound weight vest. I was like, okay, I know our gear is more than that. So I would do the mile. I would do like, you know, about the approximate distance that the course was, the obstacle course was with that, with that gear on. And then I would also test myself on the opposite days. I would test myself. Like I said, I do push ups, I do sit ups, and then I would do, and I would do a mile and a half run um, as fast as I could. And that's what I did just for two weeks for that to, in preparation for that. And then that actual week, I only did yoga because I wanted to stay loose. I was like, I don't wanna push myself too hard. So I did just yoga. And it was beautiful because it was like, I felt just clear and I felt loose and I, I felt really good, you know? And like, despite despite it all, you know, it was a learning experience. And I, I don't know, it was, it was, I just took the best from it. And, you know, and, and then like I said, I'll just improve for next, I'm just gonna keep on trying to get better and better and better each time. I started, I was like, I didn't actually get a membership at Define Fitness, but I was going to before this. And I was like, okay, cool, now I can go back to that. I can go back to that. So I did, I went back to Define Fitness. I was like, started doing the swimming. And like I said, it was making a difference right away, getting cut. And I was like I said, still running with that guy and then but I was doing workouts also that I'm trying to go for his bod, which is I'm trying to work chest, I'm trying to work lats and shoulders and stuff. And, uh, you know, and then do some leg work too, you know. But unfortunately, during the practice, I may have hurt myself because after those, I had my days off come up and my neck just started hurting really bad. And like I said, I don't know if it had to do with pulling that sled or whatever or not, um, but I don't know what else, like, cause I hadn't been pushing myself hard. And so I've had a lot of neck pain, neck and shoulder pain lately. And to the point where like, when I wake up, I'm like, oh my God, it's freaking excruciating. Oh, and, it, and it gets fine throughout the day. But it's, it's one of those things where like, damn it, like now I can't push myself. Cause I tried to, if, well not push myself, but I was like, okay, I'm still gonna work out though. And I just, I felt like I was just making myself worse. And that's definitely not something you want to do. So I'm trying to take it easy. I am doing yoga, you know, stretching and stuff like that. And I feel like that's helping. 
and stuff, but it's not exactly the problem. Because I did go to the ER, and they were like, oh, you have a bulged disc. And I was like, damn, like, I don't even know how I could have gotten that. Like I said, b besides from that uh, thing, and because there's nothing else, you know? It's like, you can't get that from like sleeping wrong can you and so it's been a real bummer for me especially now that it's a new year you know everybody has those new year's resolutions i kind of hate the gym because it's super packed with all these people that really aren't going to tough it out and, and and it pisses me off because they won't tough it out for the whole year it's like it would be fine if they toughed it out for the whole year because then they would make the gyms bigger they would expand they would make more of these same gyms you know and it would be better for for everyone you know because I think but you know but people don't and so then like for like a month or two months the the gym is packed and I'm you know who regular goer I have to fight for for machine or space or whatever you know it annoys me so you know especially now it's really bummed me out but I don't know like I, I'm like well is this a blessing in disguise because I have really been I've made fitness such an integral part of our part of my life where I've been going before work and then I go after work and I come home and I go to sleep and I do it all over again and I work a lot you know see that's a that's another thing is that people think people may think like you know oh you were putting out videos before and how come you were able to put out videos before and edit videos before and stuff like that and you were able to do all these things but now you're not and the biggest difference is sleep and work. I used to work 45 minutes away, so I could get in three workouts in one day, and I could, you know, I could even work out at work, and I could read comics, and I could make videos, and I could edit videos, and I could do a lot of that stuff at work. I can't do that stuff at work. My drive is like almost two hours every day, two, just two work. You know, so I'm on the road almost four hours a day, and then I come home, I sleep, like I said, and I have to do so many wellnesses for my job. So, you know, and, and so even if I just do the minimum amount, it still takes a lot of time for me to do these things. So, editing takes, it takes time. It takes, it does take a lot of time. Like, I remember I used to, it, it would take me like at least two, Almost, it felt like almost two full days editing one video that ended up being like, you know, anywhere from two to ten minutes, you know, depending on, on how it was. Uh, now, this type of form, the only thing I need to cut out is like when I mess up or when, you know, there's a lot of repetition. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, stupid stuff like that that really doesn't take that long to edit other than the length of the video. So... That's a big part of why I haven't been putting out videos, and I have not. I, I like. I don't even do anything anymore. Like, like I said, my life is purely fitness, and that's it. Like, I don't even play video games barely, and my wife gets me video games, and I kind of feel like, okay, maybe this is a time to, like I said, relax, take some time off, sort of. Like, I'm still gonna do my workouts, but I'm going to when I come home, I'm gonna edit some videos and I'm gonna play some video games. You know, like while those videos are editing, I'll get on and play some video games. Or I'll do a little bit of both, you know, just so, cause I need to get them knocked out for one, so they're not looming over me. And same thing, like I just, I kinda just wanna live and, you know, like I said, wife got me Wolfenstein 2, Wolfenstein 2 and that was freaking, that's, that was a lot of fun. Only played like the first level. And then I played Assassin's Creed Origins. That's it's so different. It just feels almost like a different game. Yeah, even though it doesn't, it looks like an it's like an improved version. That's I don't know. Uh, and then I still haven't beat Andromeda. So you know, I, I'm, there's that, and then there's all kinds of other stuff. There's always the PlayStation Plus games. And amongst you know, I still have Gears Four, Uncharted Four, I never finished. Lots of games out there that I have not finished that are top notch games. Uh, you know, and so. That's a big part of it. I don't, I just don't have time now. If I had somebody to help me edit videos, you know, if I had more time, if I didn't have a long commute, that would help a, a lot. But unfortunately, that that's not gonna change anytime soon. That's, you know, just, just life. Uh, I got that sweet K 
Captain America's shield for Christmas. My wife got that for me, so that's freaking awesome. Uh, like I said, she got me the gun. She got me the holster, um, you know, the tactical holster and stuff. And, uh, you know, and uh, just a lot of, you know, this hoodie. She got me this hoodie, this uh, Mass Effect Andromeda hoodie, the initiative uh, hoodie. So I love it, and it's great. And, and a lot of the other stuff. Got Captain America hoodie, got a Captain America shirt. Uh, I got um, a, a Goku, like, original Dragon Ball hoodie from my hermano. Uh, you know, and I got these, uh, I got these shopas right here, these slippers my parents got me. I, so, but yeah. Um, and I just, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts too. Uh, the Nerdist podcast, Adam Carolla podcast, um, a lot of the IGN podcasts for video games and stuff, and and uh, Women of Marvel podcast. Been listening to that stuff. Uh, you know, of course, The Last Jedi, which I'm still have a love hate relationship with. Like I parts that I love and parts that I hate, and you know, it's like the old fan in me and the new fan, you know. But uh, yeah, so yeah. Um, and then music, it's, I, it hasn't been a lot of music, like, uh, there was some, um, there, there was a concert, a Bone Thugs in Harmony concert, so, and one of my friends went, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna start listening to them, because it's been a long time since I heard them, uh, and, and they have a lot of hits, and stuff, so I was listening to them, Daft Punk, uh, which, Daft Punk just, I don't know, like, it just seems like a lot of repetition, or just, their newest album is their best by far and large. And there's some Michael Jackson and stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, it's it just, you know, just, just things. I don't know. I feel weird because I feel like I've I've kind of run out of nerdy things. I, well, I, I actually just started watching uh, My Hero Academia, which is pretty interesting. But I just finished watching uh, Kanichi, which is a very similar anime. So I'm not in the mood for that same style, even though it is pretty good. So, yeah, um, like I said, especially with my kind of injury, uh, I, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm going to be taking it easy. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm still eating healthy. And that's what I've noticed is that I, I'm looking good because I'm eating healthy. And, and it's not because of working out. And so that's an integral part of looking good. Now, I'm not chiseled and I'm not getting big and I'm not getting swole. I'm not getting jacked because I'm not working out hardcore, but that's fine because I'm eating healthy. I'm eating chicken breast, you know, I'm, uh, you know, just like fruit, like apple slices and, you know, and it just a lot of, you know, right, you know, like rice, oatmeal, just healthy food. That's it. Like you eat healthy, you'll look healthy, you know, and it takes and you feel healthy. Uh, you know, cause like for the new years, I was like, I'm going to go out and get some Taco Bell, uh, and some McDonald's and this and that. And McDonald's was low packed. So I was like, screw McDonald's. One of the Taco Bells was packed. So I was like, screw that. And I did find one that wasn't busy. So I did get like the new stacker, which wasn't bad. Didn't taste too bad. Uh, and it's, it's only dollars cheap. And then I got like the cinnamon delights were good. Uh, and then I got like the, or the orange slurpy thing, which also tasted Good, but way too much sugar and just horrible and that that was enough for me you know my bad food uh, my cheap bad food for the time so but yeah I uh, like I said I don't know when I'm gonna do another one of these um, you know we'll see we'll see depending on time and progress of everything going on you know because I want to take care of this I want to take care of me you know before I'm like I do of course want to do that Aquaman workout but I don't feel like it makes sense to be swimming when this is, you know, the main focus. That's that's a lot of swimming, and uh, and that's that's the issues I'm having right now. So uh, that's it for now. Um, so yeah, I want to know uh, what you get for Christmas, you know, and all that stuff. So um, yeah, just uh, stay fit, stay healthy, and love and peace.